Now, factors influencing the magnitude of electron affinity. That means, we already discussed in the ionization potential which results the formation of cations by releasing the electron. In this case also, some factors are influenced. In the case of electron affinity also, some factors are influences the amount of energy which are releasing or which are absorbing in this process. In those, first one is atomic size or atomic radius. That is, if the atomic size or radius is more, then what happens? The attracting power of nucleus on valency electrons is less. So, the entering electron in the outermost shell of an atom is weakly attracted by the nucleus. So, the gain enthalpy of the corresponding element will be low. That means, you can say this is the nucleus, this is various shells in the atom. Now, with the increase of size of an atom, what happens? The attraction of nucleus on valency electrons will decrease. So, the coming electron which is added to the outermost shell of the atom has less attraction power towards the nuclei. When it has a weakly attraction power towards the nuclei, the electron gain enthalpy is less for corresponding process. So, as the atomic size of the atom increases, the electron enthalpy or el electron affinity is decreases. That means, as the size of atom increases, attraction of nuclei on valency shell or entering electron is less. Then what happens? The amount released in this process will be low. Then electron affinity is decrease. From this you can say this electron affinity is inversely proportional to the atomic size or atomic radius. Electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy is inversely proportional to the atomic size. Now the next one. Effective nuclear charge. That means the nucleus have a high capacity to attracts the electron, then what happens? The atom can easily gain an electron and it has a higher electron affinity. That means, when effective nuclear charge is more, then the atom easily gain an electron. It releases more electron gain enthalpy or you can call it as electron affinity. According to this, Thus, atoms which are having smaller size, they have an effective nuclear charge and they can easily absorb the electron by releasing higher amount of energy. So, the electron gain enthalpy is more for smaller atoms and lesser for higher atoms which are having a higher atomic size. And the next one is electronic configuration. That means, for various elements, with the increase of atomic number, they have various electronic configuration. But, the elements which are having fully filled configuration or half filled configuration, they have more stability compared to the other elements. Now, when the elements are more stable, they don't want to accept the electron. In that case, the electron affinity of such elements is low. What here? The inert gases does not accept the electron due to they have a fully filled configuration in their valency shell. So, those inert gases have zero enthalpy. Here, the atoms which are having fully filled electron configuration or fully filled electron configuration means we already know for the p orbital that is p6, for d orbital d10. For f orbital, f14, these are fully filled orbitals and half filled also, half filled configuration, which are having fully filled or half filled configuration means like p3 or d5, f7, these are half filled configuration. 
the elements which are having fully filled or half filled configurations are more stable so such stable elements does not wants to accept or gains the any electron stable elements or atoms are not accepts the electron so for those elements electron affinity is very less take a simple example inert gases inert gases have a fully filled configuration in their valency shell so they never participate in the gaining of electron so electron affinity of inert gases is zero